Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I updated my Star 5 Fission 5.2 RISC 5 single board computer to the February 2023 release. And up till now, it feels a bit as if every time they release a new image that the update procedure is different from the uh, one before so um, you can download the image from here so and i've seen forum posts that people said that they couldn't download it from Google and with Baidu that you need to download some executable. Um, but for me, um, even with an anonymous session in Firefox, I can just go into the Google Drive into the engineering release directory. So directory 2023.02. And in my case, I'm using a micro SD card. And now there's only a minimal desktop image. So it says um, it can't show a, it can't load the file. So the only option is to download. Yeah says it can't scan for viruses, download anyway. And here you can see that it starts downloading. So if it doesn't work for you, then I have the suspicion that uh, perhaps you're doing something with a firewall with a pie hole to get rid of ads or those kind of things, but that might interfere with uh, uh, the way Google Drive is working. So, but I'd say in an anonymous Firefox fashion, it should be possible to download it. Hopefully I can, yeah, I can get my session back. So once you have the image, then write it to your micro SD card. And I'm doing that on a Linux machine. And then the suggestion is to also uh, enlarge the root partition because otherwise it's already like 95% uh, full and that means that it's not possible to install any packages like Firefox and OpenOffice. Um, so once you've done that, then um, it's also needed to update the firmware. Or you have to play around with the switches. So um, here is the link to the updated firmware. So that's here. And that means that you have to download the U-Boot and the Vision 5.2 payload. And if you don't want to update the firmware, then 
there's an option to play around with these switches. So probably when you receive the board, the switches are in this position. So they are towards the inside of the board. And this picture explains that that means that it's booting from flash. So let's just say you want to boot from the micro SD card. So that means that the uh, pin ending on zero, so that's the bottom one. That needs to be switched to the other position, so towards the outside of the board. So like this, I hope it's clearly visible. And when they're in this position, you force the board to boot from the micro SD card. So if you want to boot from the EMMC, then you have to um, put both switches in the opposite position. So that's the option if you don't want to update the firmware. Well, in my previous video, I already explained how to uh, update the firmware. Um, so there's a PDF explaining how to do that. Um, so here's a link to the wiki. And that has a reference to the PDF file to update the U-boot. Um, and then you have to go to section 4.3. And if you're on one of the newer firmwares, then you can just install the MTD tool utils if they're not available yet. And then just follow this procedure. And that should be possible just to do it in like a minute or something like that. So that shouldn't be too hard. But uh, reading PDF files in Firefox at the moment is rather slow. So let's see if we can close it. See if it still responds or not. And yeah, that's one of the complaints that some people have is that um, when you're doing the updates and you're also have to update the firmware, then all the files are all over the place and you have to find them, things like that. Mm, let's see, I'm not really sure if Firefox, ah, yeah. So, doing anything or not hmm. a bit strange yeah there's also this thing that they say that this is the procedure to extend the partition even when you're already booted from the um, micro SD card uh, yeah I'll, I'll put the link in the description of the video but this procedure didn't work for me and as i said um, i wrote the image on the linux machine and on that linux machine i started gparted and then i did it just manually and yeah just in case um, that you're not able to download the image from google drive then someone just set up a torrent and well i downloaded it from google drive but so this is another option 
uh, the only thing is is that I'm not really sure if they put the uh, the hash somewhere so you can see that it is a valid file or not um, anyway let's see if we can get back yeah because uh, there's one more thing because now we're uh, I'm going to close this so close this one hopefully Okay, let's see if it wants to get. Wants to get back. Okay. Hello. Yeah, so this is the page that I wanted to show you um, because uh, it is a minimal image, but it is possible to download uh, Firefox and some other packages. Uh, the downside is, is that uh, you need to type in this command So what I did, um, let's see if we have, no, yeah, is just copy this text and yeah, I just put it as a text file on the micro SD card. So that way you don't have to type it yourself because it's quite a long string so yeah what you can do is use more in one terminal session and shift control C And then in another terminal session, shift insert. And then you have to put them together. And then you can do the change mode. So you give it executable rights. So by using or by typing the first characters and then tap, then you get the name. And I also noticed that um, it's better to sudo when you execute the script. So I'm not going to do it here because it's all already installed. And once that is done, then you should have a complete image. So also with um, LibreOffice and some other packages. So, but as I said, um, updating the image is still not a trivial thing. You need to do a couple of things before you're getting in, well, what I consider a working state. Okay, let's see if I can, can, can 
I can close this. So if we look at the release notes, then they say they added HDMI audio support. Um, one of the known issues is that 4K is still not working properly. 1080p video playback issue. So they are aware of those issues. And what's next? Work in progress. Uh, 4K resolution support. Vulkan support. Firefox hardware acceleration. 1080p video playback. And Wayland. So, yeah, I think that at the moment it's, yeah, unless you really need something that has been fixed here, then I don't think there's um, really, there's no really something important there, at least for me to, uh, to upgrade. So just one last test to um, hopefully you can hear it that the HDMI audio is working. So the audio is now set on the speakers of my TV that's connected through HDMI. Well, I hope you were able to hear that the HDMI audio is working. So yeah, this was just um, a quick summary of how I updated the image. Um, yeah, looking at the release notes, um, but at least for me, there were no real important things. Uh, I will try to do some more tests to see if there are some um, updates or fixes that really make a difference from the previous release. But I guess you have a good overview of what you have to do when you do want to update the image. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.